Hello there, my name is Dick van Oeveren and in this brand new video series I will show you how to build a data center from scratch using Aruba CX switches with Aruba Fabric Composer um, but I will also show you our brand new uh, 10,000 switch, the Aruba 10,000 switch, which is a distributed services switch. This switch uh, supports, well, will allow you to perform stateful layer 4 firewall services at very high speeds. Uh, I believe it's like 800 gig per second, very low latency. So I can do stateful firewalling with this 10,000. Um, I can do micro segmentation, but also micro segmentation with a switch. And so, uh, so this series of videos will, um, I will show you how to build a data center from scratch. So really starting off with a discovery, um, building your fabrics, so assigning the switches to the fabric, um, creating the underlay, overlay, the EVPN, VXLAN, creating VRFs, creating link aggregations. Um, also, obviously, uh, because we're covering the 10,000 switch, also uh, configuring all the security policies and everything. That's all covered in this brand new video series. What I'm not going to cover is all the technical stuff around it. So, uh, so really, um, things like um, what is BGP, what is EVPN VXLAN, the protocols around it. Now, my colleague Joe Neville has created a couple of very, very good and very in-depth videos covering those technologies. So I would highly recommend you to view those, uh, view those videos if you're interested in technology. The other thing that I'm not going to show you is product information. So I'm not going to uh, explain um, things like speeds and feeds, features, functions. Uh, there's already plenty of information um, around covering those topics. So really, it's all about configuring and setting up your data center with Aruba CX switches, data center switches, and the 10K. Uh, and we're using Aruba Fabric Composer for that, uh, but also the Pensando Services Manager to configure um, your, uh, your policy sec security policies and everything. Now, uh, I've created a a small presentation that shows you all the slides and all the all the steps um, that I uh, that I will build this data center with in the coming video series. So let me show you those slides, and um, I hope you will uh, see what you know how we can build up that uh, that data center. Okay, so here's the uh, initial setup. What we have is we have a couple of 8325s here that will act as spine switches and we have a couple of leaf switches here. You can see two 10Ks, two 10,000 switches, uh, which we will be using for the stateful firewalling. We have an 8360 switch here. Uh, this switch will actually connect to the outside world. And we have a couple of 8325s here as leaf switches, which we will be configuring as a VSX switch. Okay, so um, next is, so we've got these switches and um, so the first step is that we discover those switches in Aruba Fabric Composer. Uh, really very simple. In order to be able to discover those switches, you need to have a minimal configuration on those switches. Obviously, these switches require an IP address and they uh, require an administrative user account so that AFCs or Aruba Fabric Composer can uh, can get access to those switches and obtain the information. Um, the information exchange between Aruba Fabric Composer and the switches is solely based on REST APIs. So uh, there's no SSH or anything, uh, just REST APIs are being used to provision, configure, and monitor those switches. So that's the first step, discovering the switches. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a fabric uh, and assign the roles of those switches, you know, assign the switches to the fabric and uh, together with the roles. So the, um, the switches here at the bottom will be leaf switches and the two 8325s here at the top will be spine switches. 
Okay, next is to create a VSX pair of this, uh, these two 8325s here. Um, and so we're, you know, we're going to use AFC uh, to, uh, to, uh, to achieve this, uh, obviously. Actually, we're, we're, um, so in the build, we're not going to use any CLI. Everything that we do is done through AFC by using the workflows that you have available in AFC. Okay. Um, next, once uh, once we've created the VSX, I'm going to create a layer three uh, fabric spine leaf. Um, so you have layer three connections between those leaf and uh, leaves and the spine switches. Okay. And then next is to create the underlay because what we want to do is we want to create an EVPN VXLAN uh, fabric. So for that, you would need the underlay first, which will be based on OSPF. And then next will be uh, creating the overlay uh, based on IBGP uh, for, uh, and that's also used for, for EVPN, right? So underlay, overlay. And then once we have that uh, configured, um, we will be using a specific VRF uh, for the EVPN VXLAN. So you can have multiple VRFs um, uh, assigned to, uh, to VXLAN instances. Uh, but so in this, uh, in this scenario, in this build, we'll be creating one VRF that we'll be using for, uh, for the EVPN VXLAN. So once we have the, uh, the VRF, we create the EVPN instances. Um, and so what you can see here is we have a couple of, uh, well, we have a couple of vSphere hosts connected to the 10K switches here. Uh, you can see a couple of um, uh, VMs, a couple of workloads connected here uh, on different VLANs. So we've got VLAN 1201 and 1202. Um, and so what we can see is uh, once we have provisioned the EVPN, uh, instances we can communicate with um, you know between those VMs um, uh, so as mentioned before there's also going to be uh, some some other stuff like uh, creating manual link aggregations uh, because we uh, obviously we want those VMs to communicate with the outside world we have this 8360 uh, connecting to an 8320 here which connects to the outside world so once we've created this this link aggregation here uh, this will allow you to uh, well, this will allow the VMs, the workloads, to communicate with the outside world. So creating a manual link aggregation as well. Um, in order to start the, uh, to, you know, in order to get more uh, interaction between um, between Aruba Fabric Composer and vSphere, uh, we can create a vSphere integration. Uh, so that's also something that we're going to uh, um, configure in uh, Aruba Fabric Composer, and this will allow you to have uh, a tight integration and uh, to, to do some automation and orchestration around uh, vSphere as well. Um, and I will, I will show you that in the, uh, in the coming videos as well. Um, what we're also going to do is uh, create the Pen Sando integration. Um, so what this will allow you to do is uh, this will allow you to configure uh, policies, security policies in Aruba Fabric Composer, and these security policies will be pushed to the Pensando Security or Services Manager, and then the PSM will push those policies to the 10K switches. Um, so what that means is is that you can still use uh, AFC. Uh, for uh, for policy uh, enforcement and and configuration, so you don't need to uh, do that in Pensando. And then uh, next is so uh, in the next step, we're gonna create uh, a policy, uh, and this policy uh, is, is a very simple, very straightforward policy that blocks ICMP between VMs that are on different uh, VLANs that are on different networks. And then uh, next is uh, creating another policy um, showing, I, I will be demonstrating micro segmentation. Um, and so what we have here is we have two VMs that are sitting on the same network, on the same subnet. You can see that here, the 10.6.203.104 and 10.6.203.108. Um, and for that, uh, we will be creating um, 
uh, a virtual distributed switch and uh, we will be using private VLANs to, uh, to, you know, to segregate, to isolate the traffic. Uh, and then once we have the private VLANs, we can redirect the traffic to the Pensando uh, security chips on the 10K for inspection. Um, no worries, I will show you all of that, how, that uh, how that's configured and how that works. Um, and uh, also, uh, you have uh, you might have a situation where you have existing switches that are not 10Ks, but you still want to protect uh, traffic that uh, you know that come the, the traffic that comes from a, a VM that is on a non 10K switch, and you want to protect that traffic coming into the 10K switch. So I'm going to demonstrate how to set up policies to block SSH from a non 10K perspective. And then also, like finally, um, um, there is also like a scenario where you can, uh, in the Pasano Services Manager, where you have uh, where you can view the actually the active flows, and based on the active flows, you can select a flow, and then you can assign that flow to an existing policy, uh, and then block that information. And that's something that we're going to do uh, with SQL injection. So in this, uh, you know, in this example, we have. Uh, an SQL injector uh, that injects SQL traffic into an SQL server. So that's using uh, a, a, a TCP port, uh, what's it, 3306. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I can see that actual flow in the Passando Services Manager, and I can add that flow uh, to uh, to an, like an existing policy and then block that SQL. So that's quite some stuff to cover. Um, and so in the next video, I will start with the discovery of the switches, creating the fabric and assigning the switches to the fabric. So um, I hope you uh, like this video. So nothing demonstrated so far, but I will certainly do that in the upcoming videos. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you have any suggestions or feedback, uh, just let us know. And um, I hope we can accommodate your feedback. So thank thanks for watching and bye.